scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. The natural man, one who is alienated from anything Christ, among other things, responds to his environment only based on his sensory perception. Are we together? So his decisions are made from the impulses around him. The limit of his interaction is just a three-dimensional realm. The natural man. The Bible says for such a person, his organs of interaction with spiritual realities are deadened. He cannot understand spiritual things because they are not scientific. Spiritual things are not scientific. Spiritual things are not philosophical. They are spiritual. So your organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit must be heightened and activated for it to make sense. It does not make sense to drop a prayer request on the ground and dance around it. A natural man will tell you that stupidity. It does not make sense to write your problems on a prayer request and come and drop it at the altar. Have a man lay hands and get up smiling. It does not make sense to believe something you have not seen and start taking action in advance. No. The natural man cannot do that. In the world, they say seeing is believing. If I can't see it, I shouldn't believe it. How in the world do you want somebody whose organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit has not been heightened to believe that someone can stand with a growth, a lump, a malignant growth, cancerous growth, and just with a word it disappears no you see let me tell you something most people's doubting of God is because the Holy Spirit has not activated their organs of interaction remember when you used to laugh at praying praying in tongues remember that's what was happening to you you see believers praying and sweating and you say Ay, who lied to these people see you now you are in the same thing happily a forerunner of it how about the bible how about confession to believe that you can communicate things thank you that you can communicate things and then they will come to pass because you opened your mouth and spoke ah, ah. you just sit down in your house and expect a destiny helper to help you who dash monkey banana where will that come from you mean somebody just sits down and comes to bless you all of these things that we teach brothers and sisters are spiritually discerned say after me spiritually discerned why will you ever believe that a man went to the cross for you what if it's a lie was your name on the cross you were not there you were told he went to the cross for you how are you sure it was for you what if he went because he did something wrong and they just created a story to cover up Let me tell you how you know the organs, your spiritual senses have been activated. The things of the spirit no longer become an embarrassment to you. You are not ashamed of it. Some of us still do big manism for spiritual things. Shout, lift your hands and don't fall our hands. That's someone whose spiritual senses are deadened. Does not understand. You are sick to take the communion. What is communion? I beg, I saw you baking this cake. I saw you, you even put small 
wine inside and you are now all of a sudden telling me it's anointed and it can cure please do, let's let's we are and I'm, I'm i'm sorry to say this but even some of us pastors we stand on stage and we bastardize spiritual things we tell people look you you have common sense i mean what is uh, how can you walk around your house in the night prophesying get the police and we laugh over it and make it look as if spiritual things are nonsense If you are not a spiritual man you can't believe that somebody can come with a result that is not working and you lay hands on it and he goes back and check and all of a sudden he finds out it has changed his own cynical people are those who their organs of interaction with the realm of the spirit you saw our mother giving a testimony there are some of you here if journalists will come now you say mama open that leg let's see i don't believe it seeing is believing because many of us believe that an elderly woman at her age like this would come to stand to lie to you cynical about everything i'm showing you the need for the holy spirit in your life this is why you cannot experience speed when they see a young man all of a sudden come you see this gentleman he was he grew up in the village just like you and in one year god has changed his life and changed his level when people see him they say look all these young people it took me 20 years to buy my first car because you are a natural man but this guy has tapped into a supply he knows there is a system in the kingdom are we together now and you look at him and say no job you graduated with third class what are you doing whose head did you cut that you are now buying a car you are even saying you buy a car for your mother how did that happen the natural man cannot receive the things of the spirit how can tithing open the heavens for you this thing is just a gimmick oh men of god use this thing they, they eat people's money and you hear the next time you can know whether people are alive in the spirit by their conversations their conversations are a window to their spirit man so never argue when you want to argue with people find out what level they are first so you don't make a fool of yourself there are people when they talk the keys just to say all right god bless you it's all right you know i'm telling you all these things you are sitting down saying you are hearing god to marry well I'm, this one now you are seeing we're all seeing this is how your elder sister did now she's 40 years you don't know what the elder sister believed but you know the principles of the word are you hearing what i'm saying is God blessing you? Yes. Spiritual man. God gives you an instruction. You finish building a house and you carry the house and go and give the house of God and say they should turn it into a missionary house. Is that normal? No, you have to be spiritual. Are there spiritual people in this place? So why do you argue about miracles? why do you argue about signs and wonders why do you argue about dreams i call this guy now i give him a word of knowledge and somebody's watching me i'm watching if somebody is telling me something <laughs> is it very easy to act like that say i'm a believer say i am spiritual i am alive to god say it i am alive to god yes the natural man i'm showing you the number one assignment of the holy spirit to take us out of that natural state and that carnal state to become spiritually alive all of a sudden you now know that prayer has power all of a sudden you now know that the word of god can direct the course of a man's life all of a sudden you now agree that if i honor my parents my day will be long all of a sudden you now know that it is possible for someone to insult you yet in spite of the insult you can still say god bless you natural people who fight and tear themselves but a spiritual man hallelujah it's a spiritual man that will see his car burning to ashes and while the car is burning he will go and lock the door and just be dancing and he said oh god i think you can't you at least quench it and sell the tire and he said it doesn't make any difference it's just my car is limited but i'm connected to a supply that is infinite i'm not irresponsible 
I'm only showing the extent of the abundance of the kingdom I represent spiritual man let me tell you how to know you are a spiritual man Jesus gave us a test your environment will fight you because they are not used to behaving like that where will the money come from I'm tithing I'm giving God will give me an idea are you are you aware that we are in May and you are saying by December the house will be built please don't be stupid spiritual people if you are here and you find yourself cynical towards spiritual things you are always doubting can God do this it's a sign that you need to cry for your spiritual senses to be activated I remember some years ago someone told me that he doesn't really believe in miracles that he believes that every healing miracle is fake because they have not been able to bring any concrete documentation I told him I said there's no point arguing and I've had the same thing with several preachers around I told him the day the doctors look at you and say sir you have three days to live that day you will believe in miracle for sure you know this one way God helps us to believe him he just steps back and allows us to struggle with what we think can be him in our lives when you see how incapacitated you are outside of the spirit it will make you to embrace him thank you activation of your spiritual senses number two the second ministry of the holy spirit to a believer this is very important is revelation and understanding of scripture the second ministry listen listen scripture does not help you know the holy spirit the holy spirit helps you understand scripture are we together i am a word addict but i'm going to be correcting many things shortly and i pray that you have the grace and the fortitude to receive it because the way many people are taking their path their journey to spiritual progress they are not going to make progress that way revelation and the understanding of scripture the holy spirit himself is called the spirit of revelation the spirit of understanding when you read isaiah 11 right he is called that in fact paul prayed in ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you the spirit give it to us please Ephesians chapter 1 from verse 17 let's see the prayer of Paul that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory will give unto you the spirit of what wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him it's a spirit it's not just a desire there is a dimension of the Holy Spirit that helps men to both have revelation and understanding of Scripture let me tell you something if the holy spirit look up please lord jesus help me how do i say this now it is the holy spirit that inspired the writing of this remember the last session we discussed that the holy spirit is the author of the bible the bible did not bring the holy spirit the holy spirit authored the bible all scripture right was inspired of the holy ghost holy men wrote as they were moved led by the spirit i hope you know that the apostles never had the privilege to hold this document i hope you know the early church did not go to church with something in their hand called bibles do you know that when they went around they did not hold a little book with 66 books it was their testimony the testimony of the ministry of the holy spirit in their lives that have been documented to help a generation understand the character of God the purpose of scripture is very clear he said ye err not knowing the scripture these scriptures testify of me they don't give you power in themselves the scriptures are a pointer the end of scripture is an encounter with a person a person the spirit of revelation Jesus himself told us that when the Holy Spirit came he would grant us access to the understanding of scripture say understanding of scripture 
there are several people let me tell you something look up please it is dangerous to study this book or any christian material without the holy spirit because you are going to gain an understanding from it but it may not be the understanding that god intends and the terrible thing this is why for many of you who have studied the bible and studied you know church history you will know that the translation of the bible was done well but it came with many mistakes um because many of those who translated the bible did so sadly from hebrew latin greek aramaic into english they did not really consult the ministry of the holy spirit seriously many of them just consulted archaeological and theological materials and there are some of the modern translations of the bible we have now are very disturbing very disturbing they are a communication of carnality men attempting to interpret spiritual things in the flesh and so you have all kinds of bibles they remove several things in the bible that they fe they feel are an interruption to civilization they carefully extract certain verses from the bible they add certain things that were not there revelation of scripture revelation of scripture revelation of scripture i'll come back to that but it's sufficient for you to know that if you ever want revelation the key is to embrace the ministry of the holy spirit when you study scripture with his ministry activated in your life then you will have understanding then you will have revelation number three the third ministry of the holy spirit to the believer this is important let me spend a few minutes here guidance and direction this is one of his major ministries to the believer guidance and direction john 16 verse 13 john 16 verse 13 please give it to us and then isaiah 30 21 john 16 verse 13 guidance and direction everyone say guidance say it again guidance and direction how be it when he not when it when he the spirit of truth is come what will he do he will guide you into how many truth all truth i know many of us don't believe this let me tell you what it means to guide can i use anybody i've been using you okay to direct is to say move when you get there turn left that's direction so you go on your own all i give you for direction is an information and then you go but this is what guidance is hold my hands let's walk together oh be careful jump this be careful move this way this is guidance the bible says the spirit of truth can guide a young man who is confused no father no mother where do i go oh lord and the spirit of god says hold my hands and watch what i will do i will guide you i will guide you okay you will be in zaria for two years guidance after that you plan to go to london no it's not london it's aquaibo for one year oh god what am i doing there just follow me guidance many people pastors leaders have have ignored the guidance ministry of the holy spirit attempting to get direction directly from the bible without him is hypocrisy and religion do you know why look at me look at me there is nowhere in the bible here that is written apostle joshua selman by 2011 and 17 you should be in zaria it's not written here the principles of the kingdom i will come there are written but there are times your life requires hands-on customized specific information this is where he comes in you see that the spirit of truth he shall guide you into how many all truth what is all truth does it include ministry does it include your finances please help me does it include your establishment why did you leave him in church and you are around trying to look for jobs 
all by yourself and you never intro you go to submit proposals alone and then we don't pay attention to his ministry i think what is in vogue now is once you are in lagos or abuja about your life will be better and you transport yourself and transport your ignorance to lagos and you're on your own and a city that should bless you punishes you because it's not there with you someone else can be in zamfara led by him what are you doing in zamfara he asked me to come there and he's living like a hero in zamfara please hear me when it comes to guidance you must submit to the leadership of the holy spirit let me show you something isaiah 30 21 isaiah 30 21 read it if you're a christian one to read and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying uh-huh this is the way walk ye in it when ye turn to the when you turn to the this is the way walk ye in it uh -uh. if you go about it this way it won't work this is it oh i just want to go and do business uh -uh. go and get a master's lord what do i need it for just do it i am directing you he leads me and guides me to the city of Baba. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. He leads me and guides me to the city of Baba. He leads me and guides me to my place of destiny. Prophesy. He leads me and guides me to the city of Baba. He leads and guides me to my place of destiny he leads me and guides me to the city of above listen samuel had the voice of god because he was lying down close to the ark you don't hear his voice if he's far from you he's a gentle spirit the secret to hearing his voice is to walk with him don't keep him far there and say lord where are you no so close i believe you're holding me now you never let me go so close i believe many fathers did not seek the consent of god they just got pension two million just travel to the village you travel to the village the second day your legs stop working the third day you started walking halfway the building the money disappeared did he lead you you must learn to take responsibility allow his voice guide you see let me tell you something god is not always speaking i know we say god always speaks i don't have a right to question anyone saying that but i've read my bible and i've walked with the holy spirit god does not always speak he speaks read your bible in the fifth day of the tenth month the word of the lord came the word of the lord came like a messenger god sends his word before his senses is with him when he sends it it comes your job is to wait no matter how long waiting is cheaper than paying a price unnecessary god is speaking to someone here because your your head can move you as the voice of god waiting the hardest things for believers lord you said this year you will prosper me what is this you've not even given me an idea a business idea and god says just be praying just be waiting oh god by now my colleagues have started ministry and all of them even have five five hundred members huh i look at all of them and it's as if you didn't call me i got them born again and god says just wait if you don't hear his voice die there waiting for him 
are you hearing what i'm saying i'm giving someone a powerful powerful revelation man of god if he does not speak don't start this tv ministry don't say because you have money not every door that is opened is opened by god you shall hear a voice satan can open doors your force can open doors when you force a door it will open there are too many inconsistencies in the life of believers and the reason is because of that stillness stillness the holy spirit does not speak to men under an atmosphere of noise 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 lord there are 12 men around my life tell me quickly which one truly you will hear anything the holy spirit is a master of solitude silence silence oh god five jobs speak quickly before i choose my own you will hear that kind of thing no. waiting is a sign of faith waiting is proof you believe he will come he will come and save you he will come and save you say to the weary heart your god will surely come who am i singing to save you my god will come and save you he will come and save you say to the weary heart your god will surely come he will come and save you he will come and save you he will come and save you there's your part now Lift up your eyes to him, for you will arise again. He will come and save you. Listen, lift up your eyes to him, you will arise again. He will come and save you. Apostle, I was never taught that God can direct people. Look at how 10 years of my life has become a mess. I married wrongly I did all kinds of things I entered into every wrong known business I did every kind of thing wrong friends look at my life lift up your eyes to him for he will you will arise again and he must come to say no regrets is there hope for a tree yes there is even though it be cut up if you can lift up your eyes i just feel in my spirit god is speaking to someone here you are saying can this thing ever work my god my god an expert in changing the lives of men have you not heard of abraham i lift up my eyes to you so i will rise again you will come and see can my church get back again yes you joined all kinds of friends in the name of ministry preaching all around and before you knew it that grace left but like Samson like Samson you will arise again okay you will arise again for he will come and say I speak to your weary heart your God will surely come how long his time his time how long apostle we've been building for 10 years our neighbors are finished leave your neighbors he's preparing a table for you lift up your eyes to him and you will arise again he will come and say psalm 23 please let's hurry up our time is gone goodness god is blessing and healing people here psalm 23 
God is encouraging someone. Stop crying. You can't cry forever. There is hope. There is hope. You can start afresh again. I don't care what happened. The Lord, by His Spirit, is my shepherd. The sheep does not have horns. The sheep cannot fight. Its security is entirely based on his trust for the leadership of the shepherd. Two. He maketh me. Everybody say he makes me. When he becomes my shepherd. When I make up my mind. I'm not a small child. Yes. But I will follow him. Sometimes we get too matured for his voice. Oh God, you know I'm not, I'm not a child again. Don't play all these games. He makes me to lie down where? For him to make me lie down means he knows where it is. He searches for it and says, Son, this is green. Your eyes is seem black. But God says, just lie down. This is green pastures. Lord, but based on what I was taught when I was in the university, this is black. And God says, me, lie down when you lie down all of a sudden it turns to green and people say how did you get it uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. every wise man knows the power of the leadership of the spirit you can't fake his leadership your life will be too ugly to pretend he's the one leading you a sign that is not leading you is perpetual absence of beauty and glory in every area of your life he leads me beside the still waters. Verse 3. Quickly help us media. He restores my soul. All these are things that happen when he is shepherd. He can be your Lord. You will not benefit from this. You can make him your shepherd. That if you are leading me, Lord I will follow. You need to see how I talk with the Lord. And I tell him, Lord, I'm not going from here. Brothers and sisters, I can tell you how many people have given nice proposals, wonderful things for the ministry to do. But I know, you ask everyone who is close to me, if God does not speak, I'm not going anywhere. If after 30 years, God does not speak, this is where we remain as a ministry. Are we together? I'm not under pressure to show ministry is growing. Everything that has happened here is a product of his wisdom. The messages that have blessed people around the world, it was a simple direction from God. Do not upload your videos. Do not sell your audios. Not at this season. Put them free online. I will cause it to move like an angel to the nations of the earth look what god has done today you see when he speaks to you foolish things can bring powerful results because his voice is upon it he leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake for yeah even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death how you got there is not important the most important thing is that you are there the valley of the shadow of death what happens i will fear no evil why is it because i already know what will happen no you are with me although i'm in the valley if your voice is still with me then i'm safe thy rod and thy staff they comfort me five thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies because i am close to you i enjoy the fringe benefit of being anointed with oil and then my cup runs over guidance believers please hear me let's return back to the place where the voice of god becomes the timing of our lives don't allow this scientific living fool you young man you are 30 years by now you should have three cars you should have three cars you should be married you should have um uh, what are some of these things again you should be in i mean i mean you you have a masters in etc etc the voice of god will make you look like a fool for a moment but the beauty and glory that will rise from his voice will shock people 
and they will say how did you do it I remember when we started out in ministry many people thought we were fools many people thought we were idiots but look at his wisdom look at his grace look at the mighty things that he has done you are here today as a product of his voice who will be in your life because you had well pray one minute lord correct my hearing i am determined to hear you i am determined to hear you lift your voice and say lord i no longer argue with your voice if you don't speak i'm going nowhere there is a way that cement right inside and outside make sure you are talking to the lord there is a way that cement right for a young man but the end thereof are the ways of death there is a way to make money that seems right there is a way to marry that seems right there is a way to get connection that seems right there is a way to do ministry that seems right but the end thereof will leave you with pains and regrets but when he leads you his voice comes with speed his voice comes with direction his voice comes with direction guidance yes very simple song yes that's my response to your leading yes how forever say fourth ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer are you learning something tonight the fourth ministry of the Holy Spirit in the life of a believer is renewal and transformation write this I want to teach you something powerful and then we pray renewal and transformation renewal and transformation transformation second corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 but we all second corinthians 3 verse 18 but we all not we some as many who are interested is is the destiny of everyone but we all with open unveiled face beholding as in a glass the glory of god the glory of god is the holy spirit he's called the glory of the father he says we are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of God the Holy Spirit is responsible for the transformation of men what is transformation a change of state that is caused about by a change of beliefs a change of values a change of paradigms listen carefully one of the major ministries of the holy ghost in the life of a man is to cause renewal renewal of your mind romans chapter 12 from verse 1 i beseech you brethren by the mercies of god that he present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto lord which is your reasonable act of worship verse 2 he says and do not be confirmed the word confirmed is the word patterned do not be patterned after aeon the the word world there's the greek word aeon the thinking pattern that comes with the age do not allow yourself there is a pathway young people are taking that will land them in failure there is a way people are taking that will cause them to be mediocres in business in ministry whatever it is it says but be what transform how through renewal transformation the process that makes you become like Christ experientially 
is called transformation transformation the bible challenges us to have the mind of christ challenges us to cultivate the mindset philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 it says let this mind be in you the word let is permit allow authorize this mindset this thinking this ideology this is the reason why the ministry of the word is important now let me tell you something about the word of god while i was preparing the holy spirit kept drumming in my spirit to correct this i want to correct something now the confusion that has come and has been in the body of christ for a long time as to where the ministry of what we call the word and the ministry of the spirit because it's, it's, it's a thing of confusion for a lot of people now that i'm talking about the holy spirit in transformation many people are saying i, I think it's just the word of god there is a system and this is what i want to teach you listen there is the word of god as a person understand this are we together john 1 verse 1 in the beginning was the word there is the word of god as a person say the word of god as a person we know him our dispensation knows him as jesus are we together we call him jesus the bible calls him the word of god revelations 19 13 the man upon the white horse riding had a name his name is the word of god give it to us please revelations 19 yeah i believe verse 13 it should be revelations 19 13 let's look at it and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood what was his name is the word of god his name has always been the word of god so there is the word as a person his name is jesus we know him as jesus jesus is the name that was given to him when he wore a human body angels don't call him jesus in heaven they don't call him jesus that, that's a discussion for another time the only time in the angel mentioned jesus was simply telling mary his name he shall be called this they don't call him jesus read your bible in heaven they don't call him jesus every time they call him jesus is because they are relating with man so that we are not confused as to whether there are many of them he is the word of god a person but there is the word of god as a testament as scripture as the bible the testifier of the person this is it look up there is the word of god as a person but there is the word of god as scripture a testament jesus said that scriptures testify of him what we call the word of god as scripture is a compendium of the dealings of god with man to the end that we may understand the system of god's kingdom and see here by the help of the holy spirit the character of god in dealing with men to understand his system his person his agenda the word of god as a person the word of god as a testament a written document that speaks about the life the power the realities of heaven now listen to me you are transformed by scripture but only when the breath of the holy spirit is upon it when the holy spirit does not breathe upon this this did not fall from heaven this was published by zondervan or published by any of these people they may not even be born again they just published a book i hope you know that 66 books are the ones that are given to us but there are many extra biblical materials that are still the historical documentation of the apostles are we together now so there is the word of god as a person the christ himself there is the word of god as a testament what we call scripture listen carefully scripture in itself cannot do you anything now this is the problem we embrace scripture yes we call it the word of god yes it is a testament testifying of christ but it should lead you scripture is only useful when the holy spirit is participating in the process of opening it up if you open scripture just by yourself you will be like the scribes 
the Pharisees, the Sadducees. So the unity of scripture and the spirit is what produces the living logos, the rhema of God. It's not just to think that, okay, because this is the Bible, many people sit down and then they can look at this. This is only as hallowed as the ministry of the Holy Spirit makes it in your life. Otherwise, this is just an ordinary book. An ordinary book that archives the teachings of this man we call Jesus. The Bible in itself cannot do you any good. It is the ministry of the Holy Spirit breathing upon the word, giving life to it. So everything you see in the Bible, he empowers you to believe it, act upon it, and delivers the result. He is the power behind scripture. The Holy Spirit is the power behind scripture. You have to believe this. There is the word of God as an information, as a testament that reveals the life and the principles of the kingdom. Listen, I've said it, but let me say it again. These words in themselves only educate you. They can't transform you. That's why a lot of people do devotional without the Holy Spirit. And at the end of it, they finish and they close the devotional. Many people do Bible studies, even in church. There are many churches that do Bible study for decades, but there's no transformation in the lives of the people. You know why? Because we're only doing an exegesis on a spiritual document. In fact, even what we call confession. Um, I wrote something down here. I said confession of scripture without the presence and power of the Holy Spirit is mere psychology. Confession of scripture without the presence and the power of the holy spirit is mere psychology it's the same thing that happens when you go to a yoga class and they're helping you to be able to train your mind to have some kind of transcendental experiences what gives life to your confession is that the holy spirit is back of it otherwise you are just speaking nonsense we mock ourselves and just speak ah, this and that this and that we jack ourselves and we ignore the ministry of the holy spirit words generally are powerful but they do not bring your desired effect until they are directed by the presence and the power of the holy spirit confession of scripture without the presence and the power of the holy spirit is mere psychology in genesis chapter 1 verse 3 we see that the lord spoke the word but the Holy Spirit was there before the word was spoken not after not during the Holy Spirit was there hovering around don't invite him after you have spoken everything you want to do and then you say Holy Spirit if there's any space for you no transformation part of the ministry of transformation is to produce in you the character of the spirit galatians chapter 5 you read from verse 16 down to 22 but for time's sake let's go to verse 22 galatians 5 22 look at what the bible says but the fruit of the spirit in other words the recreated human spirit that is in alignment with the holy spirit should produce these effects love joy you cannot love except by the spirit you can be emotionally attached to a person or a thing that's a natural thing even animals do it but you need the holy spirit to love agape undeserved love how about joy the bible calls it joy in the holy ghost joy unspeakable and full of glory it says rejoice in the lord always it's impossible to do this it says again i say rejoice a life of joy is a product of his presence when you are ever joyful is a sign that the transforming power of the spirit is at work in you brothers and sisters let me tell you when you see people joyful it's not because everything is working it's just because the spirit of god they have learned to walk with the holy spirit there are people here seated right now as i talk to you they've had bereavements they've not even buried the people but you see them happy they will be the first to hug you and shake you after service excessive sadness dullness is a sign that you are walking in the flesh so when they send you pocket money 
when you come for koinonia everybody knows that is the end of the month you got something or if your salary lands help me nigerians as soon as your salary lands everybody knows you dance in church and you do everything when you stand with your tie you wave it everybody should see but the moment they don't pay to see everybody say please clap is he not enjoying he should come and face what i'm going through no everybody say i will be ever joyful yes it's a product of the spirit be so joyful that men will be surprised when you tell them what you are going through because they'll say i never knew pastor you mean you've been going through this this is what you've been going through for the last three years yes joy unspeakable full of glory don't pull your mouth and frown if you get up in the morning good morning son. no joy <laughs> somebody was supposed to give you a job you even gave testimony in advance and implicated yourself and then the job didn't come hi oh god is this how you disgrace me so now i'm i'm going to come for coin how will they joy i am ever joyful i'm a very very joyful person it doesn't mean that people do all kinds of nonsense and foolish things around my life all the time but i'm ever joyful when i see people who are happy and joyful they look beautiful they look wonderful regardless of what they are going through joyfulness is not irresponsibility it's a sign of faith that you know things will change why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen that's why when i saw that our mother singing a song and joyful oh dear what a wonderful mother some of you just come here and say look i'm i'm sad uh, we thank God for the miracle. What then is the testimony? He gave me two injections and uh, the needle almost broke, but God gave me a miracle. And we don't even know you are finished. You just say, ah, You are finished? That's it. What then is the miracle? Laughter doeth good like medicine. Turn to your neighbor and tell him or oh, her laughter do it good look at me prophesy to your neighbor and say please don't carry a load on your head god is not giving you some of us you are 20 years you are looking as if you are 90. what's the problem i'm the one sponsoring myself now what i say which of you by worrying can add are you aware that I have three children? We didn't plan for the third one. It just came. So what? School fees is now 50,000. I don't know what is happening in Nigeria. Who is getting the high blood pressure? No. Don't put tension around your life. Say myself, relax. God is in control. Say it myself, relax. God is in control. Let me tell you what the devil will tell you. He said, don't mind this nonsense. Apostle asked what you will eat after this program. We, we, we know ourselves. Finish Koinonia, I'm waiting for you. Listen, remember what we spoke about carnally, to be carnally minded. What does it take God? Have you not seen people walk to others and say, look, Emeka, come. God said, I should give you 10 naira. Take, go and drink tea with it. You don't believe God can do that. Say, I am not popular in Koinonia. Who is talking of popularity? Didn't he say God said, the all-seeing eye of God that can locate you and bless you. Don't always think people have to bless you with strings attached. Not everybody is a bad person. There are genuine people who can walk to you and say, God just instructed me. They will even allow you to explain it. Who are you, sir? I'm just obeying God. May that happen to you after this service. Please give it to us again. We're hurrying up now. Fruit of the Spirit. Let's find somewhere to tie it up. Peace. 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 Are you peaceful? Boys, terrors. Worried. Long suffering. Another word for patience there are too many impatient people listen you have to learn it don't say we are like that in our family we are too impatient 
you call somebody uncle will you send the money he says call me a little later after 10 he says, uncle it's me again i hope you are not offended of course he's offended 10 minutes there are some of us it's like you know how parkinson's disease is we if 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 we there, there is such tension you advise yourself create images and get tense by them you need to have patience lord i thank you i know that the devil wants to confuse me and put pressure in my life now but in the name of jesus i will wait for the promises of god nigerians are too impatient too impatient that's why we destroy ourselves overnight the blessings god creates we we destroy it overnight because of impatience gentleness i don't care what tribe you come from i don't care who trained you i don't care where you were you have to change and trust the holy spirit to re-engineer you to become gentle it is part of the ministry of the holy spirit a believer should be known for gentleness to be gentle doesn't mean to be a clown are we together now you know what we call gra gra hello that's the best way i can you know what we call gra gra you are into everything you want to that kind of life you will sap your energy profitless labor the bible calls it the labor of the fool he says where yet every one of them some of us are not gentle they say we are sharing zobo immediately you come where 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 are we before i scatter this place you are learning a bad attitude you go for weddings they say everybody just walk they are coming you are impatient first you are trying to be gentle later on you say this thing you know, won't get it you push everybody around you are not reflecting listen listen you are not reflecting the character of one who the minister of the holy spirit is at work in his life this gra gra life has destroyed people say from today prophesy say from today i receive grace from god by his spirit to be notably gentle say to be notably gentle once you find yourself fighting over everything you are not gentle fighting over scholarship fighting over withdrawing money atm fighting over getting fuel fighting over buying kerosene fighting over the battle <laughs> goodness goodness benevolence the ease with which you supply joy and beauty to others is a measure of your goodness it's a character it's a dimension of god's glory goodness a quality of benevolence the ease with which you release things to bless others is a measure of your goodness giving is part of an expression of goodness some of us you see my hand look look at me what is this what is this what did you say? I, I'm not getting what you're saying. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure I heard what you're saying, but anyway, I'm the one teaching. Just follow my hands. Are you seeing this? This is how many of us, though tongue talking, this is a reflection of our understanding about, please keep it there, keep it there, media, about goodness someone can be dying sir of course you are not called to feed the whole world you are not called to you are not jesus but you should be able to make a difference you can sit down with hundred thousand and your roommates are crying for one cup of rice so that they can cook as a room not even as individuals and you just sit down and say kai you know the way this country is you come out quietly listen don't laugh i'm very serious god is working on us this is our year of triumph you must change you smuggle yourself quietly down to pz enter peters eat quietly and close your mouth as if as if nothing happened and return back if nobody has told you the holy spirit is telling you now is very bad now it doesn't mean please let me balance this it doesn't mean you go around inconveniencing people because i said they should be good because there are people whose lives are a perpetual nuisance to everybody you go to people's house go around begging everybody for money telling lies i've had people use over five six different phone numbers 
to call me as different people looking for money you see that truthfully speaking i'm saying it thank god i'm, I'm speaking and it's and, and it's on air people are following so let's let's balance it being benevolent it's not that people come and stand and say it's a right apostles say anytime i cry you should answer no learn the principles get financial dominion get the wealthy place meet edge me for impartation find find ways of exiting that realm of suffering don't inconvenience people please hear me if you are here and you are used to going to people's homes and becoming a nuisance to parents workers and responsible people who are making a meaning out of their lives you have to stop it you have to stop it don't go to people's homes expecting they must give you money you must go and fetch rice when you go to their house they must give you yam who are you no you don't behave like that learn to release open your hands and you will never be poor you close your hands you cannot even receive it is only when what is in your hands is given some of us are really stingy you are stingy you are greedy and you are selfish you have to change once it's not you consuming it to hell with anybody no you can't be that desperate for things that you are inconsiderate about the feelings of others oh i came to buy 10 bottles of water and sir i'm so thirsty it's just one more i'm sorry oh god will help you and you pack your 10 bottles and go you are very very heartless you cannot even say okay let me keep one for you i came before you i came before you many people will hear what i'm saying and say he's just talking nonsense remember i've taught you when you hear people talking these are the things that make your life excellent goodness let's finish up faith or faithfulness really the rendition there is faithfulness the quality of consistency and stability faithfulness is a name that god is called he's called faithful and true 23 please meekness another word for this is humility another synonym is teachability two words combined meekness is a product of humility and teachability when you bring humility and teachability it produces meekness the capacity to learn the capacity to submit yourself to knowledge and information regardless of what you already know many people are not meek the bible says that we receive with meekness the engrafted word temperance another word is self-control a better word is self-restraint look at me let me teach you something not everything haven't said talked about giving not everything is acceptable there are some things collecting it is collecting your bet throwing away your bet right there are pastors for instance you don't have self-control you step into people's homes you know that this home the higher salary here is twenty thousand, but you see them packaging hundred thousand to give you it's not like it's an instruction from god you are happy you get into a house three bottles of wine chicken and the rest say please is there pepper i i always like pepper you are not a responsible pastor don't act insensitive to people as though you are not aware no say myself, myself. Behave. behave one more time myself, myself. Behave. behave there is a time to collect there is a time to say thank you there is a time to pray on the seed Pr pray and sow it back preserve your honor huh there is a time to know that uh -uh, this is not collectible there is a time to restrain your mouth many of us have entered trouble we are still trying to manage today because our mouths were careless you opened your mouth and spoke over an information you were not sure of later you found out it was a lie now you are in trouble do you know you can earn a living just speaking correctly yeah there are wrong things you utter with your mouth about people or to people that can cost you five years are we together now school of ministry yesterday we we're watching fella durotoye in one of our uh, we're on leadership and then we we're watching fella durotoye and he said something uh, okay no no not school of ministry i was actually watching him personally and he said something he said will your life become a key for your children or a padlock 
there are people you mention them they say you know him leave this office now i was going to help you but god over my dead body leave this office even god man they won't give you there are others they say i would have driven certain people but because of this your mouth if you cannot control your mouth to speak well especially about people if it is not good keep quiet are we together yes you say anything anyhow and you see let me tell you something about life come darling come two of you come watch this do you know that i can hate this lady and at the moment me and her are fighting are we together now me and tosin are not close but simply because two of us hate her we can partner together listen now while i am enjoying the friendship with her to hurt this person i reveal many secrets about me that should not be said and then after the fight is now finished one day two of them will now come and be friends against me and then you say i have a confession that day <laughs> me an apostle it's only god this is the foolishness that many people have chained themselves you chain your eyes your hands your leg you kept yourself in one place when you have a track record of sowing seeds of discord when you have a track record of not being self-controlled many of you revealed certain things and thieves came to rob your house you just went around and said you can't imagine for the first time i saw ten thousand dollars and so one guy is drinking <laughs> minerals close to the shop and listening ten thousand dollars my father brought it new from the bank and the guy is listening say in fact let me tell you something it's just that i'm humble we live in so 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 and the person just calls his friend in the night they kill your father take the money some of us somebody likes you instead of you to keep quiet and pray he has not even said anything the whole world and he just hears and says no 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 i can't i'm not ready for this scatter your 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 breakthrough are you learning something now someone secretly called you and said i know you have two carryovers but i am the lecturer and i'm a fellow believer i'm not talking of um maybe sleeping with you to bribe that's not what i'm talking about just the favor of god and he says oh you come for koinonia i'm also a lecturer okay because of you you had 37 let me see how i can upgrade it for you to 40 but i'm doing it just for you you see a wise person you go and thank god and the next thing you go around saying ha ah, you know this koinonia the lecturers they are very nice so what did you get in the other do you know this man did this and the next thing you hear rumors that something happened between two of you and you are trying to argue telling everybody nothing happened a fool even when he's silent is considered wise please learn this lesson our time is gone we are going to pray but i want you to learn thank you thank you you must know when to say what you must know when to go where you must know when to go where some of you have entered places that they threw you out and you will never enter the again except through favor because you did not understand self-control praise the lord two people are walking two people are walking and all of a sudden another person sorry another person comes you know to talk to maybe me and all of a sudden you just come what are you saying whereas that person is a very great man somewhere you did not know how to respect your boundaries there are some of you you sit down i'm teaching you practical things you are sitting down in somebody's house and a senior executive comes somewhere you don't need to be told to stand up there it's not weakness it's called self-control are we together your parents are discussing destiny issues you just pass and say ah uncle i had you i was passing no I'm teaching you very simple things that can make your life adorable. You don't do that. There are times that somebody can pick a call in your presence. You know that this is too confidential. You can gently, diplomatically just throw somewhere and allow them to have their privacy. They don't have the courage to tell you to leave, but you should have the brain to leave. They will respect you enough. Are you becoming wiser tonight? self-control
temperance self control you are angry your father spoke about something maybe your friends came and lied and your father just called you Dow! just slapped you you are an adult but I will slap you and then later they discovered that you were innocent and you see that you are boiling should I slap this man back should I, should I revenge I can't be a fool like this listen that's when we know whether the Holy Spirit is Lord over your life because I'm rounding up with this I've seen believers do foolish things when a believer fights his fellow person boxing people because of differences truly the Holy Spirit is not at work in your life listen I'm not a fool people offend me all the time you cannot imagine but when you sit down and say see I know we are all koinonia members I'm going to show you that what a woman can do a man can do better you now wind your hand punch the person unfortunately that's what many men do to their wives beat the wives and then let her say why did you annoy me you know that I have temper it's, it, you need deliverance there is nobody who has temper that is a quiet issue don't say Elijah had temper he was in the Old Testament John the Baptist tried it he died in the New Testament there are things you do you will not go scot free this issue of temper stop it when it's time for us to pray now you are going to pray and say Lord I must respect my wife you are in a relationship two weeks into the relationship you fought over, over ten times what kind of uh, uh, um, love love are, are, are you people doing are we together there are couples as you are joining them by evening wedding night they're already fighting fighting over money fighting over gifts fighting over whose parents brought what some of us parents please let me encourage us let's not sow seeds of discord in our children by planting hatred for others you are in a compound of 10 people you create a team from house 4 to 7 is you are the team house 1 and 2 you are the ones fighting against that thing will not profit both of you fire to fire ends both people in ashes say in the name of Jesus I receive grace to control myself self-control self-control self-restraint a word spoken in due season knowing what to do knowing what not to do knowing how to not overstep your bounds somebody gives you access and says look enter a shopping mall and shop at my expense <laughs> you just clean your hands and say today is it thank God this is favor this is how some of you have abused privileges somebody gave you his phone to call you have 200 naira in your own phone but you spent 1000 in his own phone that's not wisdom are we together self-control how about wearing people's clothes today the shirt you wear is not your own tomorrow the trouser is not your own next tomorrow i like your watch can i wear it stop it covetousness is part of lack of temperance please believe what i'm saying i know some of you are offended stop it that you see if your eyes see it something drives you i must get it no you will die young if you do it that way oh this lady my level wearing this kind of hair wearing this kind of clothes i must do it you don't have self-control someone met me one time and said apostle there is a there is a kind of suit now there is a trend that they are doing i said i don't know who they are i wear what i want i'm, I'm not i'm not anti-civilization but nobody puts me under any pressure to say okay this is what um, somebody was telling me the other time he said now uh, this, that that suit is now pencil pencil trouser and no socks <laughs> i said what what the what what the what the heck if i catch myself <laughs> I don't have a problem look 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 go ahead do your stuff I don't I don't have a problem but if I catch myself I did say if I catch us if I catch myself <laughs> 
finally the last ministry of the holy spirit thank you darling empowerment the last ministry of the holy spirit there are many more but i broke them into these sections because they are relevant for us activation of spiritual senses revelation and understanding guidance and direction renewal and transformation and then empowerment isaiah 61 verse 1 to 4 talks of the ministry of the holy spirit to empower acts chapter 1 verse 8 talks about the ministry of the holy spirit to empower acts chapter 10 verse 38 sorry i'm hurrying up talks of the ministry of the holy spirit to empower the holy spirit is the custodian of the anointing the holy spirit is the custodian of the anointing what is empowerment causing god's ability to walk in and through you is called empowerment empowerment is causing god's ability to walk in and through you mary said in luke chapter 1 verse 34 speaking with the angel when the angel came and began to speak to her oh this and of glad tidings you shall have a child and so on and so forth she said how shall these things be how shall it be and the angel said this is how it will happen the power of the highest will overshadow you how will this year be a year of triumph for you the power of the highest will overshadow you how will all of a sudden in one month you step into a dimension that you have never stepped into the power of the highest overshadow you the holy spirit is still in the business of empowering people please listen the gifts of the spirit the fullness of the spirit dimensions of the anointing rivers of his power and his grace it is still available for the end time church there is darkness everywhere there is need to forcefully advance the cause of the kingdom and it will require empowerment everybody say empowerment if you reject the holy spirit you reject empowerment you can have a bottle of anointing oil in your house that's not empowerment if you reject his ministry he is the secret behind the empowerment in my life he is the secret behind the empowerment in this ministry i am happy i am very very proud of him he's done more things in and through my life that i can ever dream of i remember years ago when the lord was telling me i will use you and you will be so mighty apparently i knew he was going to do it but i didn't realize the extent look what he's done in my life look what he's done in your life some of you when you came here months years ago you were absolutely ordinary people but look how he's transformed you the holy spirit was given to us by god to help us he's the helper he's the comforter he's the spirit of truth he's the guide he's an advocate he's a standby he's a strengthener he's a creator he's a revealer he's a preserver the holy spirit rise up on your feet please oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god time oh god you are my god and i will never praise you i will seek you in the morning and i will learn to walk
for step by step for step by step you lead me and i will follow you sing it one more time oh god oh god There are people here right now who I told you that he has a twofold ministry listen carefully our time is gone ministry number one is to unbelievers there are people here you have been in church for a very long time but you have not embraced the Spirit of God as eternal life so way the life of God and you are saying man of God tonight you introduce the Holy Spirit for me in a way and a dimension I never knew that I needed him for salvation I'm tired of the way I've been living my life and I make up my mind that I want to run to Jesus or you are here and at one point you have given your life to Christ truthfully speaking inside outside in any of the overflows online and for some reason you discovered that things have gone haywire your life has just scattered and you are saying man of god if you will ask me to come out i will rush to come out to receive jesus christ we have just two three minutes for you so if you are outside i want you to begin to rush to come in now in any of the overflows i'm going to count one to four you are inside this building here and you know that you need jesus god bless you darling god bless you god bless you sir keep coming koinonia a sacrifice of your club as an offering the Holy Spirit is already convicting men and women the Holy Spirit is already convicting men are you coming he said when he the spirit of truth is come he will convict you please clear the way for them if you are coming I want you to run 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 please double up if you are coming from outside run run quickly please quickly one two three we're counting to five don't be ashamed win that war of destiny it's like calling you to receive an award don't let any friend keep you down make up your mind that tonight is my night for being spiritual do we still have people coming quickly make your way to the front hallelujah I want to appreciate you brothers and sisters for making this noble decision listen the Bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away you are still coming join them quickly I'm about to lead them to pray when men try to convict you they condemn you no matter how sincere they are it takes only the Holy Spirit he does not condone your state but he changes you you come as you are but you don't remain as you are his transforming power is able to change you lift your right hand and I want you to say after me seriously and sincerely you are not reciting a poem this is supernatural say Lord Jesus I love you and I believe in you that you are the Son of God tonight I receive your life I receive your spirit I declare that from tonight my sins are forgiven the anointing of the Holy Spirit is strong as I'm praying for you I, I feel it I feel that anointing every time I begin to feel it I know that his power is strong say tonight I receive your life I receive forgiveness I receive cleansing I declare that I am a child of God I am saved from today and forever I am for Jesus amen keep your hands lifted father I stretch my hands towards this gentlemen and ladies I thank you for bringing them to the fold they have responded to your call 
Lord, I pray that tonight will be the beginning of great days in their lives. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the power of sin, the flesh, Satan, is broken over your life. A new beginning starts for you from tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Thank you and congratulations. Let's appreciate them very quickly. Let's appreciate them very quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Next week, please, I don't want you to miss next week's meeting. It's going to be a very special empowerment meeting. Um, we're going to be rounding up the series, Holy Spirit. I'll be teaching you on the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I'll be sharing with you very deep secrets. And then it will be a time of very strong, intense impartation. You're a pastor. You have a church. You're a business person. Whatever it is, if you like, you can come with whatever documents that you have, maybe for your business. Please announce it to as many. It's, it's a miracle service on its own. Please be part of it. And I want you to come with your heart expectant. And the Lord will do us good in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. I bless you in the name of Jesus. Let it be a weekend of encounters for you. That which you have learned, I supply grace for you to walk in its reality. The Lord bless you and honor you in Jesus' name. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.